guys this is why and today we're gonna learn how to edit an amazing golden hour portrait so this is the before pretty dull and this is the after so we can also control this effect by controlling the opacity of this group um, like so so that the effect is not too much yeah so let's get started open the image and create a curves adjustment layer click on the drag tool and select and dock area bring it down just like that yep. select them brighter area and bring it up fine tune it a little you can take your time okay so it looks good so we're gonna create another close adjustment there and change it to red channel and increase the red in the image and give a little bit of green and decrease the blues it gives a nice warm tone now we're gonna create a exposure layer increase the exposure a little and the offset and decrease the gamma like so change it to soft light it gives a high punch and warm tone decrease the opacity like so and the fill amount good okay so we're gonna create um, a photo filter effect and change it to the second preset and increase the density and then we're gonna change the blend mode to screen and decrease the opacity like so that looks good it gives a nice warm tone and create a color balance effect and go to shadows and increase the reds a little like 15 yeah. and the green so that gives a yellow tone and blue to match the skin tones and go to the mid tones and increase the reds a bit and the green a little and increase the blues then we'll go to the highlights and increase the red a little and let's say yeah that looks good and decrease the blue I mean Pull this slider towards yellow. Okay, this is looking good. Okay. Let's find it. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks double. Okay. We are good on our way. Now create and let's say vibrance layer. And decrease the vibrance to minus 50 or 50 from somewhere around that and increase the saturation and change the blend mode to screen and decrease the fill amount and the opacity before and after yep that will work okay good so create a gradient and click here and choose this preset 
violet and orange and change the style to radium reverse and put it somewhere around there okay, okay. change to screen and we're gonna place the shadow effect Decrease the opacity to match the tones and the fill. That looks good. So we're gonna we can change the position of the yellow spot like the sun kind of thing. You can just place it anywhere you want. I wanna place it there. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna create a curves adjustment layer and change the blue channel and drag the blues a bit so that you get the golden tone. Decrease the opacity. Mm, yep, uh, I don't know yep. Okay, we're gonna make the group control plus G. And rename this to color grade, color grading. Okay. I'm gonna create a curves adjustment there, and yep, looks good. Uh, I'm gonna change the green to multiply. Okay, we're gonna decrease the uh, fill first, and then the opacity. Um, we're given high contrast. Yep, that looks good. So rename this to say contrast. I don't know. Okay, yeah, looks fine to me. Okay, create another curve adjustment there and change the blending mode to screen and bring the curves layer below the color grading folder. I'm gonna decrease the fill amount very low. The opacity. Okay, this brightens up the image. Now we're gonna just Yep. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna a little bit. We're gonna rename this to brightness. Okay, cool. And group them up. Control plus G. Rename this to brightness <coughs> and contrast, and then we're gonna. That looks good. Yep, that looks. Good. Group it up and rename this to golden flower effect. Okay, so there we go. Before, after, we can decrease the opacity if we want. I'm gonna leave it at. I'm gonna leave it at 100%. Looks good to me. <sighs> okay, so guys, that's how we did a golden hour portrait. Thanks for watching.